Hey YouTube, today we're going to go over memory cards and a lot of people have been asking me does the memory card that you have and use for your camera uh, matter? It does matter. It's very important but it also depends what you are shooting and who you're shooting for and how fast, what kind of speed you need and all that good stuff. So let's go over uh, different memory cards and which ones I'd recommend and which ones I would not recommend. Uh, as far as company goes, I would recommend Lexar. Uh, I know plenty of people that shoot SanDisk. Uh, it just a personal preference. It really, you know, depends on you. The reason I would recommend Lexar is because they are the fastest memory cards in the market, and they're very reliable and they're just they're great. I, I haven't had a problem with any yet, and I like them a lot. Uh, same goes with the memory card readers. Uh, Lexar memory card readers are fast. USB 3.0 readers are very, uh, very, very fast and. Uh, obviously the best right now that we have and I would recommend those uh, only if your computer has a USB 3.0 uh, slot uh, if you have like I have a MacBook retina display that has that in there so if you have that uh, go ahead and get a 3.0 reader um, now there are four memory cards that we have right here two right here and two right here and there are different speeds that Lexar provides and every other company provides with Lexar, we've got the 800X, which is, according to Amazon.com, 120 megabytes per second, minimum guaranteed sustained read transfer speed. So this one can do 128 megabytes per second. The next one we've got is the 1000X. That can do 150 megabytes per second, guaranteed minimum speed. And the last one, which just came out recently, is the 1066X. And that one guaranteed is 160 megabytes per second. So, um, what that means is how much it's how much uh, uh, how, how how many megabytes it's transferring over to your computer when you're transferring shots over to your computer, you're dumping images on there. It's how how many uh, megabytes per second it's putting it on the computer, and then also with uh, your buffer on your camera. Uh, how quickly it can buffer uh, shots when you're doing high-speed shooting. So if you have a 1DX, I would highly recommend the 1066 uh, or the 1000X. I was shooting with the 1000X for a while and it, it, it's fine, totally fine. Uh, the 1066 is just better and it's pretty much the same price. Uh, according to Amazon, uh, from the sellers, from Lexar themselves on Amazon, uh, let's see, you can get a 1000X one memory card for $89.90 and then you go over here and how is that even possible? Buy Lexar, brand new, $70. Okay, I don't know if there's something wrong there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it says it's cheaper for a 1066. Hmm, that's weird. Let's go on B&H. They're cheaper too. B&H is a lot cheaper, by the way. So let's see. Lexar, 16 gigabyte. That's what I'm going off of, 16 gigabytes. Uh, 1000X. So we have a 1000X on here for 16 gigabytes. It's... Wow. Oh, they discontinued it. They discontinued the 1000X on B&H at least. Uh, that's forty dollars for the sixteen gigabyte ten sixty six X UDMA seven Lexar memory card CF card on B and H, but then you go over to Amazon, it's seventy dollars. And I think if you get the two package on, which is what I just bought from B and H, it's like eighty nine dollars or eighty bucks. So B and H is where you would want to get these if you're if you're gonna purchase these. Amazon's great, but they're a little pricier for some reason. Their prices are kind of weird, but that's. I mean, 40 bucks, you're getting the fastest memory card in the market for 16 gigabytes. Why not? I mean, why not get it? That's a good deal. Uh, and this, I, this, like I said, I bought this from B and H. So, and it's I've been using it, and it, it's great. It's legit. It's not phony. B and H is legit. So is Adorama. Uh, let's see. So now we gotta cover. Uh, so the speeds we cover the speeds uh, of transfer, and that also goes with the buffer on the camera. And we'll do a test. I'll show you guys. Um, and then, I think, oh yeah, with the gigabyte size. Uh, the gigabytes really just matters on your shooting style. If you're shooting spray and pray all the time, 
you're getting 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes if you are shooting like crazy. I don't shoot like crazy, I shoot very conservatively and I have only once or twice filled up a 16 gigabyte when I'm shooting full raw. Some people might think I'm crazy and I don't shoot enough, but I mean that's just the way I am. I just I shoot very very conservatively. So if just to give you an idea, the 16 gigabyte can fill up, I think it can take about 650 full raw shots from the 1DX. So that just gives you an idea. Um, and it also, the 16 gigabyte will be just fine if you're shooting for pro stuff and you're transferring images constantly. You're gonna be clearing your card off all the time, so that shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, so that, that hopefully that gives you an idea, a, a ground base of understanding you know, where to go from there. Um, so let's just put one in and do a test. We're gonna put in first the crappy SanDisk Ultra, 30 megabytes per second, four gigabyte compact flash. And we're gonna do a burst sequence, get in there. And let's see. Put that in, I'm gonna format it first so it's clear, good to go. Okay, let's see how long it takes for it to buffer our full burst until it stops taking shots first. Okay. It stops me. Still buffering. Let's look at the shots. Still buffering. And that means it's trying to shoot more. It, it stops you because it's trying to, you can't, it just stops you from shooting. So that's a lot of shots and I've never ever have that issue because I don't personally I don't hold that down like that the whole time the way I shoot I'll show you after it's done buffering uh, we're, it's still going we've got over 70 shots so far about to hit 80 and it just stopped 75 that was 75 shots in total um, so that's part of what it has to do with the, the, the megabytes per second is the how fast it can buffer and let you allow you to keep shooting. You can shoot a lot of shots and continue shooting. That's not the main reason I would recommend it. I mean, it kind of is, uh, but the more important thing is the transfer speed to your computer. And uh, that's really important. So we'll go over that uh, really soon. I'll show you guys how quickly you can transfer images and I'll save the shots on there from that. And we'll see how quickly you can transfer 30 megabytes per second. And next up, we've got the 800X. I mean, these are all going to be really similar with the bursts, to be honest. But we'll just, we'll do it anyway. So here's the 800X. Okay. So it's still buffering. So let's see, there's something still happening. It's still buffering those shots. We're like, oh, there's something happening. Take some bursts. Okay, it stops me right there. So by that point, you should have the shot and the play should be done, which will give your camera enough time to buffer. It's still buffering, as you can see. Um, so the 800X is pretty good um, for even on the 1DX, uh, full raw. So if you're shooting with a 7D, a 60, a 5D, the 800X should be just enough. That should be fine. Um, on, that makes no sense. The 800X on Amazon is $40. So let's go look and see how much it is on b and I think it's discontinued, I, I don't know. Oops, not Canon, XR, 16 gigabyte, 800X. Hmm. No, oh, it's, it's like it's 40 bucks. That, that's so weird. I don't know. That, that's strange. I mean, at that point, why not just get the 1066X? It's, they're all pretty much the same price on Amazon. It's $36.95 for the 800X 16 gigabyte Lexar CF card. You can just get the 1066X for $40, four more bucks, three, less than $4. So why not? So next, we'll save all these shots. Like I said, we'll transfer them over. Got the 1000X. <clears throat> Get in there. Okay. And we're gonna format this one 
And here we go. One, whoops. 1000X. Ready? Still buffering. Some shots still. Stuff happening still. Something going on. Yeah. See how much quicker it is? You can see it was still buffering. And I was while it was buffering, I was still shooting some shots off. And then I held it down for a little while there, even while it was buffering, and it went longer than the other ones. The other ones was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up, and this one just, just still going. And it's done now. That was a hundred shots. I will save that so we can see how fast it transfers. And the last one, the biggest, fastest one, 1066X. Let's see how it stands up against the other memory cards. Okay, it's formatted. Good to go. Here we go. Still buffering. The 50 is still buffering. So the 1000X and 1066 are obviously going to be very similar. It's going to be a little bit different. I think what I saw was 10 megabytes in difference. Uh, so they're pretty neck and neck, but again, the prices are so close together, you might as well just get the fastest one available. That was 101 shots right there. So so that hopefully that gives you guys an idea of you know the difference in memory card speeds. Um, now let's go over to the computer and see uh, how fast we can transfer all of these. Okay, so here we have the SanDisk 30 megabytes per second versus the Lexar 800X, and the Le Lexar is on the bottom, and the SanDisk is up top. And you can clearly see that the 800X is just destroying the SanDisk. It's already done. I think that was less than 10 seconds. I'm not quite sure, but that was, was very fast. And the sand disk is still struggling. It's barely over halfway. Um, and just so you guys know, every single uh, memory card has 75 images. Both, all of them are shot in RAW. So 75 full RAW images. They're both being transferred at the same time. And each image is, I think each uh, memory card is like 1.5 gigabytes. Uh, so it's still going. Still going. You can see how much of a difference it is just from the 830 megabytes per second one. Alright, and it just finished. Next up, we've got the Lexar 1000X versus the 1066X. The 1066 is on the bottom, and the 1000X is up top. And they're very similar. Uh, you can see the 1066 is just a bit ahead, and it's done. And that one's done. So, they're very similar uh, with speed. Um, so, really, I mean, they're both pretty much the same price. Like all three of those are pretty much the same price on BNH Photo, so you might as well get the 1066X. And um, I hope this video helped you guys out. That's pretty much it. Uh, so leave any comments if you guys have any questions. I'll be happy to answer any of them. And thanks for watching, guys. See you guys soon.